Being mindful of what food you consume can be tasking. They say you are what you eat, but you may wonder how to choose what to eat. Joining us today to explain how the choices we make influence the food we eat is Dr. Ulysses Wu, Chief Epidemiologist at Hartford HealthCare. Welcome, Dr. Wu. All right. <laughs> Thank you for having Here me again. Go. All right. What do our choices, how do our choices affect the food we eat? Well, there's really several ways that we can look at this. We tend to think that we have choice over what we eat, and we do to a certain extent. But in reality, there's so many subconscious factors that are pulling at us whenever we make these choices. So the obvious factors are what's our economic cost? How much does it cost to us? What's easy? What's convenient? What's our goal weight? What's our goal for in terms of calorie intake? But there are some of the subconscious ones that we don't really pay attention to, the marketing, right? And when was the last time you saw a burger commercial? on TV and you're like, oh my goodness, I, I must have some sort of hamburger at this point. Uh, the crave, we get into the, I don't know if I'm hungry, but do we want something salty? Do we want something sweet? And then there's FOMO and uh, social media, right? Fear of missing out. Social media, we are bombarded with a lot of these things. And then other things, the myths and misperceptions. There was a good example of people, they were offered a third pounder hamburger over a quarter pounder, and they chose the quarter pounder because they thought the third pounder was much smaller. And then finally, the psychological burn. The, there's a time where we think we exercise and we think, all right, we must get that reward. And then we tend to overestimate that. Then there's a physical burn where we think, oh, we've exercised, but we actually didn't exercise enough to really really earn that gratification just yet. A lot of different things. All right. How essential is it to make healthy choices when we eat? No, it's very essential. I mean, mindful eating will lead to greater health and improved uh, areas in other parts of your body. So we call uh, or we say things like endocrinologic, right? Uh, diabetes, for example, we can certainly improve on the way that when we make these mindful, healthy choices. Orthopedic wise, our joints will thank us. Cardiovascular, our heart, our lungs, neurologic, uh, we could reduce the risk of certain neurological diseases, meta metabolic disorders, but most importantly, psychiatric health. And that's really where the psychology comes in. You said we are what we eat, and sometimes if we're happy, we eat. Sometimes when we're sad, we eat, and we have to be very mindful of that. And there's that concept, right? Hangry was the, was the term that everybody says that they are. I actually like to say because we're not angry, we're annoyed, right? We're annoyed when we're hangry and, or, when we're ang or when we're hungry, and that causes a lot of false decisions for us when we eat. All right, we have about 20 seconds left for the final answer. Give some advice for people with setting healthy goals for the new year. Yeah, absolutely. So I suggest something twofold. Don't fall prey to what is out there. Create your own path. Don't fall prey to the marketing. For me, it's a simple equation. It's energy balance. And so it's how much you intake versus how much you output. And even a little bit of energy output, the more that you exercise, is important. But believe it or not, people look at exercise as the way to go. It's actually energy intake. Reducing that amount to a small extent every single day can certainly make a difference. All right, Dr. Ulysses Wu, Chief Epidemiologist with Hartford HealthCare. Some great advice there. Thank you for your time. Thank you for.